and school rock star. If I were a rock star in a rock movie set in an idealized version of the 1970s, one where wholly mediocre men have insanely hot girlfriends with very silly haircuts, who only really seem to exist in order to be vaguely difficult for no apparent reason, <laughs> then I would be at some wild party and there would be beer bottles and some non-speaking role men with their dicks out, all begging to go down on me. And my bandmate's beside me, and she's in a similar situation, but neither of us are too phased, because this is quite regular for us. And then some older gentleman, who also happens to be at this wild party, would come up to us, take off his sunglasses very slowly, and say, Hi. I am the king of poetry. <laughs> and I also happen to be at this wild party. I like your energy. Do you fancy a recording contract? Because that is how these things seem to go in rock movies set in idealised versions of the 1970s. All of your hopes and dreams are just sort of handed to you on a plate filled with cocaine. So then I'd be off, touring the world, reading poems much like this one to audiences of screaming schoolboys. And sure, after the initial montage, I would probably develop a drug problem and either die a legend or live long enough to have a regrettable foray into Christianity <laughs> or chainsaw art, but it would be, at least for a short while, quite beautiful. And there would be people who would give me money to make music and make art and make mistakes and make love. But I am not a rock star in a rock movie set in an idealised version of the 1970s. And I can only turn it up to 11 if Creative Scotland accept my funding application. <laughs> <laughs>